Hammer forming is one of the oldest techniques used to shape metal. From the early days, you know, metal was shaped by having a buck or a form and uh, hammered over it to create anything from a shield to a tool or anything they needed. Uh, depending on the form, you can create as many uh, and duplicate the same shape over and over again. Uh, but for the most part, you know, what we do in the shop is we build forms that we need to build one part for. So what we'll be doing is we'll be building our forms actually out of MDF uh, plywood. It's easily cut, shaped, and formed. And, uh, and it will hold up to forming up to 18 gauge steel over it. Or, you know, in, in our project today, we'll be using aluminum. And uh, in doing this, we're going to be using a couple of different techniques to uh, actually form the metal. One is called a... Uh, cold shrink, where we actually take the metal and we form it to a shape smaller than, it, uh, than its flat state. And uh, another technique we'll use is what they call a cold stretch, where we take the metal and we actually form it into a shape larger than it is. Uh, both those techniques have their own uh, problems inherent, and we'll discuss that as we get into it. Basically, any part on a car can be hammer formed into a shape. Uh, we've used this process to create wheel well openings and patch panels and here's a case where recently we had a uh, cow vent on a 38 Ford pickup where the drip tray inside the cow was all rusted out so we uh, basically built a series of forms to hammer out a, a new drip tray for the cow vent. Uh, again you can see how you know, in the forming process, the forms sometimes get beat up a little bit, uh, but uh, essentially they only need to survive long enough to make our part. So with that, let's get started.